Okay, hey guys, we're uh, here to give you your workout brief for Saturday the 23rd. This is going to be a partner workout and it should be a good bit of fun. We're going to do some push presses and lunges and your partner's going to hold a plank while you do a round and then you'll switch. So, a little twist on uh, some of the partner workouts we've been doing lately. You're going to start your warm up with uh, 10 inch worms plus a push up. So, you'll walk your hands out, out of the frame of view, and then walk your hands back in. You'll go for 10 reps there. I did a push up high squat. And, uh, and then you're going to do 10 Samson stretches. So that's just a nice lunge while reaching overhead. And then, uh, then you're going to run, row, or bike, jump rope, anything like that for two minutes. And then we're back to do two sets of 10 dumbbell shoulder presses. If you have uh, enough strength to just press your heavy dumbbells overhead, you can do both dumbbells. If you need to warm up, you can start with one dumbbell and on the second round do two. Then you're going to do 10 goblet squats. So that will be with one dumbbell. Nice deep squat. Bang, bang, boom. Uh, then you're going to do 10 plyo lunges. So you're going to start in a lunge and basically jump into the next lunge. A little easier when you don't have bare feet and you're not worried about breaking your toes, but there you go. And then uh, 10 shoulder taps in plank, which this list looks like is just going to go into a plank position and she's just going to touch her opposite shoulder with her opposite hand for 20 reps. So just a little uh, plank warm up and exercise for your shoulders. So then we're going to start to practice the movements for the workout. In the workout you have some push presses and we want to make sure that you're dipping straight up and down and we want to make sure that you have the correct timing where you extend your legs before you punch the dumbbell over your head. So Tiff's going to walk you through a progression where you have no dumbbells at first. So she's going to put her hands on her shoulders, she's imagining she's doing push presses and she's going to do some dip and uh, holds. So she's going to dip straight down about two inches. Notice she's not squatting. Her knees are forward, but her shoulders are right over her hips, and then she'll stand up. You can either uh, check this with the coach that's uh, on the Zoom with you, or uh, maybe with a friend or in a mirror. So again, dip and hold. If she was leaning forward, the dumbbells are now forward of her center of gravity, and she's gonna push them out this way, that's bad. So we would correct her if there wasn't six foot social distancing, and then she could just stand up. So you're trying to go straight up and down. Next, you're gonna practice a dip and drive slow. Here, you're trying to have that same dip, that same vertical torso, and you're just training yourself to turn around and have no pausing. So if she dips and drives slow, it looks like this. Dip, drive, that's it, nice and slow. Dip, drive, awesome. Okay, so now she's going to dip and drive fast. The drive up is what we wanna go fast. It looks like this, dip, drive, dip, drive, right? So she's, she's making a fast turnaround and really putting the momentum going up the way we want it to go. Then she's going to do a dip drive press. And here we want to see that her legs get straight before she punches overhead. So dip drive punch, right? Dip drive punch. That was a little early. Be a little bit more patient. There you go. Right? So we want to see the legs extend before the uh, arms press. When she picks that up with her dumbbells, do about 100 reps. There you go. Nice. Go ahead and rest. So in those push presses, you want to see dip, drive, and press. Obviously, we're looking for a lockout at the top and squeezing your biceps in towards your ears. So in the workout, you'll do 10 of those, and then you're going to do 10 uh, lunges, walking lunges, not plyo lunges like we did in the warm-up, but just a standard walking lunge. So that would be 1, 2, 12. Okay? If you need to scale the lunges, you could drop one dumbbell off to the floor and you could just hold one dumbbell uh, if needed for your lunges. Um, but you're also going to get to rest while your partner is working. So maybe you can try to do the 12 uh, with two dumbbells. While your partner is working, your partner is going to, uh, the, your, while you're working, your partner is going to hold a plank and you can either do uh, push up style, so arms extended, or you can go down onto the forearms. Uh, survey on which one is difficult, Tiff says. This one's harder. A forearm plank is harder, okay? So if you want a little easier, you can go on your forearms or on your hands, like in a top of a push-up position. You're going to work in an I go, you go fashion. So if Tiffany and I were partners, she would do her round in about 12 seconds, and I would be holding just a plank for a very short period of time, and then I would suffer through my uh, 10 and 12 at a longer period of time, and Tiff's going to have to hold the plank for longer. 
and we'll just go back and forth for 15 minutes until we, uh, until we finish the workout. If you're doing this workout by yourself, you can do a round and then do probably 30 seconds of plank or 45 seconds of plank. You can also check to see how long the first round takes you and then hold the plank for that time and just go back and forth through the workout like that on your own. Uh, when we're done with that, we'll do a child's pose to stretch it out a little bit. Spend a minute in the child's pose and then we'll do a couch stretch for one minute per side. Her delicate knees need a little padding here. Squeeze the heel into the butt. Don't fall over. Come on now. So flexible. It's like Gumby. Uh, and if you squeeze your butt and push your hip forward, you'll get a bigger stretch down your quad there. And then a, a pigeon stretch for a minute on each side. So there she'll put her front leg in front and her back leg in back, as we said uh, yesterday, and uh, stretch for a minute on each side there. So I hope you enjoy that partner workout. We'll see you uh, on Saturday for that. Thanks for joining us.